Lost at sea? Sure, you're surrounded by water, but did you know it can be more dangerous than no water at all? That's right, drinking seawater when you're stranded can be a fatal mistake. The ocean might look pure and blue, but it's packed with salt. Way more than our bodies can handle. About 3.5% of ocean water is pure salt. To put that in perspective, imagine a liter bottle filled with seawater. That's like swallowing a couple of tablespoons of salt in one go. Now you might be thinking, can't my body just get rid of the extra salt? Sadly, it's not that simple. Your kidneys, the body's natural filters, can only handle so much salt. Drinking seawater overwhelms your kidneys. They struggle to flush out the excess salt, leading to dehydration. You actually end up thirstier than before. But dehydration is just the tip of the iceberg. Drinking seawater can also mess with your blood pressure, making your heart work overtime. It's like forcing a car engine to run on the wrong fuel. Disastrous! Don't lose hope just yet. While drinking seawater directly is a no-go, there are clever ways to make it safe for drinking. Remember those survival shows? They often show ingenious methods to turn salt water into a lifesaver. The most common method is using a solar still. It's like a mini water cycle powered by the sun. You trap seawater in a container and let the sun evaporate the water. The salt gets left behind and you collect the pure, drinkable water that condenses on a plastic sheet. Another option is a portable desalination device. Think of it as a mini water treatment plant. It uses special filters to remove salt and impurities, giving you clean water to drink. Remember, survival depends on being resourceful and informed. Before venturing out, always pack emergency supplies, including a solar still or a portable desalination kit. Learn basic survival skills like collecting rainwater or finding water sources in the wild. Knowledge can be your greatest weapon when it comes to outsmarting danger. Remember, respecting nature and being prepared is key to surviving its challenges.